What is going on guys? It's EGWebs here back with another video and I'm finally here to bring you some Lost Origin. This set just released today. I just picked it up from Target and we got an Elite Trainer box here and then we have each pack artwork of the single packs. We got Enamorous, I think his name is, Shiny Gardevoir, we got Giratina and Hisui and Zoroark. So I, I went into the set completely blind. I did not watch any videos of people opening it or unboxing it or any checklist for the set. So I'm going to go into this completely blind. And that's the first time I've really done that with a set. I usually um, watch a lot of videos, got the hype going for the set. And really kind of spoiled it for myself. So I'm really going to be very excited for what this set has to offer. So here we have the player's guide. Uh, to keep with the um, uh, no idea of what is in this set, I'm not going to be looking at this. So if you want to look at this, buy an Elite Trainer Box for yourself, or just by just looking at the uh, set list online, or just, I don't know, try to find screenshots of that player's guide. So anyways, we've got the eight packs of Lost Origin. Reminding me a lot of Unified Minds with this pack artwork. We have the amazing card sleeves. Gold, red, and black. We have everyone's favorite energies. We have the code card. And the V-Star marker. Got the card dividers, or the deck dividers. The poison and burn marker. And we have the dice. Got to add that to the collection of dice that I have. Otherwise, that's everything you get in the ETB. Hope you guys enjoy all the codes. Make sure to like if you take a code. Helps me out a lot. And let's get into these packs. Again, I have no idea. These packs, like the packs seem cheaper. Like the material used to make the pack, it looks cheaper. I don't know why. Pokemon companies are always trying to cheat out in something. Of course, I know we do have Radiant cards in this set and the uh, Special Collection, I think it's called. Like the, I don't know what it's called, like the Legendary Collection. I don't know what it's called, but it's the stuff in the Reverse Hollow Sot. So we have a Haunter, Poliwhirl, Licky Licky, Clefairy, Apom, Spinarak, Litwick, Roselia's First Pack Magic, Snorlax, and a Hisuian Gudra. Hisuian Gudra, I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't played the, Ar the Arceus game yet, so anyways, that's a cool one right there. A Snorlax, uh, Snorlax, I still don't know what the name of that, that little like subset in there is. Is it like the Trainer, Trainer Gallery, that's it. Pretty sure that's the name. So hopefully we get some good Vs, so maybe a V-Star, maybe a full art card. Anyway, there's a code card. We have everyone's favorite thing, a V-Star marker. You don't really need one when you have the V marker from the, the box here. We have a Panic Mask, Shellos, Binnacle, Porygon, Ducklet, Blipbug. We have a Mian Shao Reverse Hollow Rare, I believe, and a Hoopa Regular Rare. So. Nothing too much in that pack. we we'll love to play a Radiant card. I do know there's a Radiant Gardevoir because of the pack artwork, of course. Let's see if we get an amazing card from the Trainer Gallery. I, previous sets, Astro Radiance and Brilliant Stars, I have gotten some pretty good hits from the Trainer Gallery. We have Wind Up Arm, Harry Mama, Poliwag, Oddish, Isuian Growlithe, Lickitung, Slugma, a Kingdra Reverse Hollow Rare, and an Enamorous V. That is the new Tornadus Land Guardian one, and this is a Psyche type. Actually, it's a fairy in the game, but that's actually a pretty cool one. Enamorous V. And I, I still haven't played Legends Arceus. I know. I need to get on that. It came out almost a year ago. And there's a bunch of new Pokemon, like they got the Isuian Zoroark in this game. Uh, this this set, at least. So we have an Electric, Riley, Jinx, 
Makuhita, Bronzor, Phalanx, we have a Poliwag, a Sableye, that's a rare two. And we've got a Cramorant. And this is one of those Lost Zone cards. Yeah, the Lost Zone is coming back. And I guess all the cards that have Lost Zone effects to them have this little, like, pink juice around the Pokemon. Not exactly sure, but I don't play the game. So, I don't know. It's just a little bit of cool artwork on the card. Anyways, let's see what you get out of pack number, I think, five of this. Let's get something a little bit better than a just a regular V. We have a Machoke, Fantina, another one of those Lost Zone cards. We have a Gift Energy, Porygon, Inke, Blip Bug, Finneon, Litwick. We have another Lost Zone card. This is Colress's Experiment. And another Hollow in Hisuian Arcanine. This one is a Fighting type. So two Hollows. A, a trainer gallery card and a regular V. I usually, when you get a leader trainer box, is you want something a little bit better than just a regular V. You know, you're paying a good amount of money for this stuff. You want some of the goods for the front. And we have a Psychic Lampent, Ambipom, Damage Pump. Who remembers a little pump? Uh, Clefairy, Roselia, Inke, Porygon, Blipbug, give me some good in the reverse slot. Nope, it's just a Galarian Stunfisk and a Politoe. That Galarian Stunfisk was an uncommon. All right, moving into the last quarter of the box. And of course, we also have those four single packs as well. We have a Darkness Energy, we have a Galarian Sunfisk, Bronzong, Riley, Hisuian Zorua, first time seeing that one, Binnacle, Gumi, Bronzor, Snover, Beautyfly Reverse, and another Hollow Hisuian Basculegion. All right, enough Hollows. Disappointing to see yet another Hollow in this box. There's the card for that one. It took me a while to get some good cards from the Astral Radiance uh, Trainer Gallery. Haunter, Poliwhirl, Horsey, Shuppet, Shellos, Isuian Growlithe, Ducklet, Banet, and a Stone Jorner. So that Stone Jorner is a rare. So not really too much going for that Elite Trainer Box. I I don't know the pull rates for this set besides the three crappy hollows. We have the two uh, hits in Snorlax and Enamorous V. So that is what's going on for the Elite Trainer Box. Hopefully the single packs give us some more luck. All right, four single packs. Let's start off with this Hisuian Zoroark. All right, so we have a Psychic Energy, we have a Iscan Carving, Panic Mask, Porygon, a lot of Porygons, Ducklet, Blip Bug, a lot of Blip Bugs too, Finneon, Hisuian Zoroa, Chandelure, and another Stone Journer. So back-to-back -back Stone Journers. Of course, one thing that's good about opening these new sets is all the rares and uncommons and commons you get for the first time as well because you don't have any cards of the set yet. So everything you gets new almost, except for that Stone Journer. That's not good. We have a Lampent, Gift Energy, Binnacle, Gumi, Bronzor, Snover, Jinx, C. Dot Reverse, and a Ross from Friends. When is Max Mofo gonna upload another video? It's been a fat minute. 
he pretty much defined my freshman and sophomore year of college with his videos. I'd watch them all the time. Now you got old EJ Webbs to bless you with videos. V Star Marker, Dotler, Cedra, Seviper, Lickitung, Slugma, Clefairy, Apom, Spinarak, Hisuian, or no, Galarian Stunfist, mixing them up, and a Dustox. Regular rare. Man, this is not going too good for me. Please, last pack magic, dark energy. We have Bonzong, Colress's Experiment, Komala, Murkrow, Horsey, Mawile, Shellos, Binnacle, Dark Ride Reverse, and another Hollow Gengar. So only one hit out of those last pack, and it's a Hollow Gengar. Oh well, well, we still have these two hits, the Snorlax and Enamorous, along with, let's see, the Basque Legion, the Arcanine, and the Gudra, Hisuian Gudra. So there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope your Lost Origin luck is a little bit better than mine. I do, don't really know the pull rates, so hopefully the pull rates are better for you. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed. See ya, and goodbye.